Hi guys, so some of you have asked for me to do a video on a day in the life of my beautiful Providence Jujubee Classy. So you know what? I listened to you and I heard your cries and I said, you know what? I have errands to run today. What's so cries? cries are when people says, hey Claire, help us do this thing for us because we like you. Wee, and I wee, said, wee, 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 wee. Chosen! Ooh, wee, ooh, wee, ooh, wee, ooh. And um, and I say, yeah, okay, I'm gonna do that for you because I love all of my people, okay? So yeah, so here is my beautiful Classy in Providence. My beautiful daughters, this one's still buckling up, and that one is Rel. And okay. we are gonna do a day in the life of my Jujubee B Classy. So if you're interested, stick around. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be awesome. You're gonna thumb up this video. So we haven't even left the driveway yet, and already someone's asking for a carrot. So I've showed you these before in a previous video. These are those blue avocado uh, reusable snack bags. I absolutely love them. Um, I found mine at my local commissary, but I'm sure you could find them anywhere else, like Amazon, wherever. Um, this is not an affiliate thing. I'm not affiliated with anybody, but if you're looking for all different sizes of reusable uh, snack bags for your kids, this is a great, great, great option. So yeah, not even left the driveway yet. Still waiting on Lily to come back with the Yu-Gi-Oh cards and yeah already reaching into the So we've stuff. just picked my husband up from the box. There he is, because he is so handsome. I just like to show him off. What is this for? It's, it's for my day in the life of my Juju BB Classy. Well, you, can't, right? you can't get me with this. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Okay, don't look at him. You're Only his head. To. No, you're not supposed to. Mike, how am I supposed to? Okay. You're not supposed right, to do I'm something not, like that. Alright, I'm not looking at my you're husband still... right now. No, you're not in the, you're not in the, the, the video. I'm telling you. Well, anyway, my husband has a whole bunch of mosquito bites all over his head, and when he gets mosquito bites, he gets like super, super swollen because they just love his Filipino blood. So I am reaching into Daddy my, sweet. yeah, Daddy's sweet. I'm reaching into my classy for my oil pouch because I'm an oily mama, um, and I am going to pull out some of my favorite lavender, and I'm going to go ahead and lavender him up because. His little bites get so big they're not little anymore they become really really big so day in the life of my B classy we've got my Erin Condren in there and this is what it looks like on the inside I'll go more into that into detail in just a little while but right now I'm going to slather my husband's uh, head in lavender oil so that he feels better reaching into my bag number two my husband had an errand to run as well and we just had a huge sneeze in the back and she said mama do you have a wipe of course I have a wipe it's in my bag. Did y'all keep seeing when I was like doing the videos before and I turned my head and I had like the big alfalfa hair sticking out? Where's it? Is it on this side? Yeah, my hair's kind of sticky uppy today. So I know you were thinking before, oh my God, does she know her hair is sticking up? Yes, I knew. I wanted it that way. So there. Still waiting for my husband. It's been a million years. And now we're all snacking. Why? It's what we do. Where are we snacking from? Feel so carrot, oh nom nom, yogurt raisins, pepperoni, fuel cell. That's why you should have one. You should bring it everywhere with you. <gasps> so impromptu lunch at Burger King to welcome Daddy back home from the box. Hey Lily, can I ask you a question? Like I'm interviewing you? Thank you. What do you think is one of the best things about mommy's GT bag? I love you. Um, it's a TARDIS bag? They're like a TARDIS bag. What do you mean by TARDIS bag, my clever girl? It's like, when you look at it, it looks like a small woman's purse. And then you open it up, it's a it's like a baby bag. Yeah. It's bigger on the inside. What's really cool about mommy's GT bag? Um, you gotta talk louder. Like the puppy. The puppies? Yeah. The little dogs on Coney Island? 
about my juju bee bags. I'm handing over here so no one can see you in your sexy man beast uniform. Yes, it makes you happy. It's good thing. For the most important thing that any mom can possibly have in her bag. Ketchup. Wipes. So we've just got home and I have kissed my husband goodbye. He's gonna go inside, strip down, take a shower and all that good stuff like you really needed to know that. And now we are off to finally do our errands which includes going to the bank, she's my partner in crime, going to the post office, still my partner in crime, and taking my beautiful big classy with us. Here at the bank, ready to go on our, you know, outdoor, outside adventure, and my miniest mini moo is asleep. So I'm just gonna leave her here while I go inside. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I'm not that mom, okay? Yeah, I'm not that mom. We're going. Okay, so while my mini moo buckles herself in, um, we are here at the bank, and I had to go in to get my my son um, a new debit card printed out because he lost his. So while we were in there and I was holding the mini moo, she woke up, of course. So things that I used out of my purse while we were in there was, of course, I reached in and got my um, wallet. So in here on the classy, the classy has a really fantastic big old mommy pocket. So I just sort of keep, I have a, a quicklet in here that I'll show, tell you about a little bit later. But I just keep my wallet, literally, right on top of the quicklet. So I don't even have to open up the zipper all the way. I can just reach in for it and then it's right there. I also reached in and grabbed our large set piece here, which has some little um, coloring pages and crayons for the mini moo to keep her entertained. And so we did use that while we were in here doing all that. So now we are off to the post office. Okay, so we decided to make an extra little stop here. <laughs> There's Emmy Lou holding the pasty pod. We decided to make an extra little stop because usually whenever I'm out with one of my teeny miniests um, or my older mini, <laughs> beautiful pasty. She loves the um, the dashins on Coney Island. Um, we usually have a special you know, secret mommy and, and baby treat. And, um, I looked in my bag for that special secret treat and we didn't have one this time. So we're just gonna come into the dollar store really quick so I can replenish my special secret treat and uh, then we're gonna go into the post office. Does that sound good, Emmy? Uh-huh. Yeah. All right, can you show them their passy pod one more time? Why do you like that passy pod? I just like the horses. Oh, those are doggies. Those like, are wiener doggies. I like yeah. <laughs> so we're at the post office again. I'm pretty sure they should just give me my own parking spot here because I'm here so often. So in here, of course I'm bringing my classy in with me because I actually bring my purse everywhere with me. I don't ever, there's never been a time where I've left my purse in the car. No matter what bag I'm carrying, I'm that paranoid. Um, so uh, mailing my son his Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And this is a second box of his Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And mailing him his brand new debit card since he lost his. So the first thing I pull out of my purse is gonna be, and it real quick, what? Nothing? Okay. First thing, I'll give you a look into my messy mommy pocket. I know it's messy, but it's mine, and I love it. So there, okay? So the first thing I'm pulling out, obviously, is my Sharpie. And this, if you're not carrying, what? She has to go potty. Okay, let me finish this real quick and mail this to Bubby, and then we'll go potty, okay? We'll go to the potty somewhere. It'll be great. We'll go potty together. Ah. Uh... Okay, so if you are not carrying a Sharpie that has the big tip and a fine point in your bag with you, you pretty much should. So you should probably do that. And then I'm using, of course, my Aaron Condom Planner because it has my wallet in it. And if you can see my little sticky note up there that tells me exactly what I have to do today because that's how I roll. So we're gonna finish this, go back in there and pay for shipping, and then we're gonna be finding a potty and then we'll be on our way home. What mommy trip is complete without the super secret mommy and mini treat.
All right. So, Minnie Moo, have you had a good time with me? I just bought you stuff. All right, guys. Well, this hasn't been a full day in the life of my classy, but it has been what we do when we go out for short errands. And after this, I will show you exactly how everything is packed in there, what I have used today, and where things generally are when I put okay, them in. Okay, my friends, so here I'm showing you exactly how I had my lovely Be Classy packed. All right, so opening her up, this was what I had packed for today when I went out with my kiddos. So I have right here my large set piece which holds their uh, little play packs and crayons and little sticker books and then you know some fun dips that I put in here which are you know the, the fun mommy alone time little snacks. My uh, medium set piece here uh, with my med kit inside, um, all of that is in my medium set piece and it goes right here so it's easily accessible. And here you can see the bottom of my bag is my just in case pouch which is you know as you've seen before it's my just in case something happens that's what my bottom pouch is for. Um, over here off to the side is my uh, Bluetooth selfie stick. Right here obviously wipes, Clorox wipes, uh, a and D for my two littles, and then this is actually a, um, an estrogen cream for my daughter who has some, yeah, that's hers. <laughs> Over here on this side, in this mesh pocket, we have my favorite resealable um, mosquito repellent um, bracelets, and I did find that these um, dried out a little bit. So what I did was because I have citronella and lavender and eucalyptus, but I don't use eucalyptus for my kids, um, I just put some citronella, lavender, and some cedar wood on them and they are perfectly good as new. They smell actually even better. Right here I have my oil kit, which I've actually made this jujube pouch like five years ago. Yeah, about five years ago and um, it's still going strong. So my oil kit. Right next to it is my EpiPen for my daughter, in case we should have to use it. Over here, I have a small uh, Quicklet made by the wonderful Verla. And inside of this Quicklet, I'm using it as our, you know, lady time pouch. We have panty liners, pads, uh, feminine wipes, and a couple of tampons. And I usually carry these for myself and also my young daughter uh, as well. Here at the bottom, I also have a reusable shopping bag. And over here in this pocket, I have nothing. So in just a second, I'm gonna, oh, oh sorry. Back here is where I keep my Erin Condren. And here would be where I keep my phone. And you have seen, I believe you've seen what's in my mommy pocket. If not, then I'll give you that tour in just a moment at a better angle. So now I'm gonna stop for just a second and then I'm gonna repack it and show you how it looks on the inside when it's only for me with no children. Okay, so when it's just me and I'm out, say if I'm going somewhere for an extended period of time, if I'm going to a doctor's appointment by myself, which like rarely happens, um, then this is how I carry it. Now if I don't have my, this is a 40 ounce Hydro Flask with a um, Hydro Skin on it. And if I don't have the Hydro Flask in my bag, sometimes I'll, I, you know, I'll put it in here and no, it doesn't zip all the way, but that's never seemed to bother me if I'm carrying it with the, um, the handles. <clears throat> if I don't have my Hydro Flask in my bag, then what I usually do is I have my Erin Condren here. As you can see, when I'm not carrying, you know, the, the set for my kids or anything, there's a lot more room. So I place my Erin Condren in my bag. And then I have the uh, med kit, which I also keep, you know, for me as well. And I have it there, or I'll have it this way. And I'll usually bring a book for myself. This book is seriously amazing. It's written by um, sort of like my acting mentor, uh, Laura, Co Laura Coyote. And if you are familiar with the movie Django Unchained, you will recognize her as Miss Laura Lee. Um, so this is a really great book. Uh, 
this is certainly a must for any actor like this is the kind of stuff we wish we would have known before we started acting so you can uh, run onto Amazon and get yourself a copy of this if you're uh, if you're in the acting business and um, you can find her uh, her Facebook page uh, Laura Coyote um, her official page and give her a like and yeah you really look into this book if you're into acting in any way shape or form like seriously this will change your acting life okay Enough about that. So I usually kind of put that, and this is the book I'm currently reading and rereading and rereading. So that's why I would have it with me. Um, and I would usually have that tucked down just like that. So there's my med kit, my book, and my Erin um, Condren planner. And so if I were going to an audition, this is exactly would have my, uh, my back packed and I would be holding my water bottle um, back here. I actually have a leather sort of bifold thingy that I put my headshots and resume and stuff in and that actually just fits really nicely right down here my husband has it right now though in his vehicle so I can't show it to you but that fits great right down here and so and it even allows me to zip it up too but um this so this is perfect for me I continue to keep the wipes in here and the Clorox wipes because seriously you never know I removed the um a and D cream and my daughter's estrogen cream. I still have these in here because honestly they're so small I really don't even need to remove them. Um, my oils, I leave her, uh, she has a home EpiPen as well so I just leave this in here as well because this goes through every bag with me. Um, obviously this is my lady time kit, um, I already said meds and I have my selfie stick in here as well and um, my you know reusable shopping bag as well. So this is how I would have my classy packed in the center of the bag just for me with no children at all. So there you go. And now I will show you what the front mine pocket looks like just for me with no children at all. So <laughs> not really much in my mommy pocket changes all that much. I have, when, I, when this mommy pocket is closed shut, I typically have my little wallet like right up here. Sorry, Dr. Strange. So that I don't have to reach all the way in and sort of rifle my hand for it. It sits either on top of the Quicklet or it's on top of my coin purse. So there's my wallet. Back here, I have like all the notepads and some receipts ever. I have a pack of gum. This is my anxiety pouch, which you've seen before in previous videos. Um, I have my silicone ear, ear, ear silicone earplugs and my anxiety medication for when I have an anxiety attack. Um, this has my uh, little mommy needs, which you've seen before, chapstick, you know, all that good stuff. Oh, look at that. Down at the bottom, I have a candy necklace, apparently. <laughs> Over here, just my pens, pencils, uh, what is this called? A tied to go pen. And this is my little thingy that I usually have, like, some... Uh, chocolate covered almonds in as like a little snack to help keep me from going to the store and buying like a snicker bar or something. It is obviously empty which is a huge shame so I need to go get some more. And there's my sharpie which I always keep in here. In here I have tucked some screen cleaning cloth. So that is how I have, well this is actually pretty much how I have my mommy pocket packed up all the time you know whether children or no children. So that doesn't change all that much. So I'm just going to put this right back in here and zip it up, put Dr. Strange back in his place. If you like this fob, go see the amazing Andrea and I'm sure she will make you an incredible one. Yeah, I just love him. Love, love. I forgot to mention my juggling balls. I put them off to the side so I could put them in on top of Miss Laura's book and I forgot to do it. So. <laughs> When I also pack for just me, as well as if we're going out for a long day or whatever, I also pack my juggling balls too. Because you never know when you may want to stop and juggle. At least I don't, you know. I'm practicing. I'm learning. So, guys, thank you again so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. And I'm looking forward to making my next video for you. Have a great day.